If you are a gouache watercolor art supply lover, then this is the video for you. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I make weekly art tutorials, paint alongs and vlogs, and I have so much for you in this video. I have an art supply haul. I have some paintings for you and I have a giveaway for you as well. Etcher have very kindly gifted me some wonderful art supplies that I'm going to play with and explore and show you in this video. It's gonna be more than just an unboxing. And on top of that etcher have kindly agreed to do a giveaway as well so if you want to know more about that then stick to the end of the video i already know what i have received but i haven't unboxed it yet to start things off we have this this is the accordion sketchbook it has 30 pages of 100 percent cotton 230 gsm paper and the reason that it's called an accordion i will show you very well wrapped Ta -da. Now, you know that I am funny when it comes to 100% cotton paper, but this is it. This is the video where I'm actually going to paint on 100% cotton paper. I have ideas that are just too great to pass up. <laughs> it feels like Christmas. Okay, let me be serious. So vegan friendly. So this must be like PU faux leather. It's not real leather. It has 30 pages. 100% cotton, 230 GSM, and it is cold pressed. And look at this. Oh, this is longer than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Hence, accordion it opens up like this. 16 pages at the front and 14 pages make up the back. I will link everything down below in the description for you. Is there anything that feels quite as good as a new sketchbook? <laughs> I'm so excited about this. And they also gave me this. So this is 20 sheets of 300 GSM, 50% cotton watercolor paper. And let's see. Ta-da! <laughs> I don't know what it is about paper that makes me so happy. I think it's all of the possibilities. <laughs> They also gifted me this, which is the everyday sketch. It has 52 pages of 220 GSM hot press paper, and it's also vegan friendly and 100% cotton paper inside. <laughs> Honestly, let me just be serious. And we also have this. So what is this, you ask? Etcher don't just make beautiful sketchbooks and great paper, but... We also have paint brushes. As you may know, when it comes to brushes, I've used like mixed media brushes or I've used like cheaper brushes, any brush that I'll find, but I haven't yet used gouache specific brushes. So that's what we're going to do today as well. They have wooden handles. It's come to a really nice fine tip, white with a black tip at the end. Four that I would call round, three of which uh, for closer details and one of which this one I think would be my like my main one you know I love using like a round brush it comes to a nice fine tip and then for the extra 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 details I would consider using one of these this may be a pointer brush we have a size 2 round brush size 4 round brush this is a size 12 round brush as you may know different brands different sizes but I'm getting sidetracked whoops <laughs> I think we have three round brushes, one pointer brush, three flat brushes, and then one dagger brush. <laughs> All gouache specific. So they have upped my brush game. I love art challenges that push me artistically, but also teach me something and also essentially push me outside my comfort zone, but not too much. <laughs> And that is essentially what Etcher asked me to do with this sketchbook. So this is the accordion sketchbook. So I want to talk about some of the pros. I want to talk about some of the cons so that you can decide what you would do with this kind of sketchbook if you were to have it. Wink, wink. <laughs> if you are still watching, then you are most definitely a real MVP. And I really, really, really appreciate you. We're doing it in the middle today. Let me know that you are still watching. Bye telling me which of the Etcher products is your favourite down below in the comments. Before I talk about the giveaway and the painting, I just want to take a moment to thank all my Kofi members. If you like the kind of content I create, would like exclusives to support the channel or 
If you're interested in joining my Kofi, which resembles a Patreon and is where I release exclusive art challenges, videos and chat with people, then definitely consider checking out the link down below. But with no further ado, let's talk giveaway. Now, when it comes to the giveaway, I'm going to be putting all the information down below in the description. So please be sure to double check it and to make sure that you enter correctly. I have to mention a few things like it's not affiliated or supported or the responsibility of YouTube in any way, shape or form. The giveaway will be open for a week from this date and I will again put down the final date. This will very kindly be supported by Etcher. So the prize is for all my 100% cotton watercolour paper lovers, the giveaway prize is this accordion sketchbook. Not this very, not my one. <laughs> Etcher will kindly send you out your very own accordion sketchbook. All you have to do to enter is follow the instructions that I will detail very clearly in the description. Now, if you want to know how to enter to make sure that you win, to give you a brief overview, please check the description. All you have to do is comment down below to share with us a theme or an idea that you think will work well in an accordion sketchbook. <laughs> like this video and subscribe to this channel and follow the link down below in the description. This will not only give you access to my mailing list but also make sure that I have a way of contacting you to let you know that you have won as otherwise I can't tell you. <laughs> For bonus entries then follow me Sketches and Scrubs and Etcher Lab on Instagram as well and that's pretty much it. Once you win I will be in touch directly through email so be sure to add my email address to the trusted list. I will pass on your details to Etcher and they will send you your very own sketchbook. I went to a beautiful garden in London called Kew Gardens and while there I gathered so much inspiration that, that I knew exactly what I wanted to create in my accordion sketchbook. I'll create a separate video highlighting the garden and also completing this entire piece but I thought that it would be a good idea to do the dreaded first page of any sketchbook with you. I will be using my Winsor & Newton designer gouache in my Stay Wet palette as well as the Etcher gouache brushes and my Etcher accordion sketchbook. And as I do, I just wanted to talk through some of my first impressions so that you can be better informed when it comes to these Etcher products. One of the clear pros is the fact that because it opens up like this, you in theory can just continue doing a painting from page to page to page to page. And I've seen some people create some beautiful panoramic paintings that just span the whole book seen someone do like their shoe collection I saw someone do um, items from their house like whatever it is it's just a beautiful way to encapsulate all of that in one place you have the luxury of turning it into one gigantic art piece I've also seen people do like collections or a theme that kind of spans the whole book and it's wonderful not only do you have the opportunity to see the art piece as a standalone page but then it can also open up and the entire sketchbook is almost like transformed so that was something that I was very much bearing in mind when I was thinking about what I should do in this and this is just one of the options Like there are so many different ways that you can create in your sketchbook and there's by no means a right or a wrong way and that is why I'm so interested to know the suggestions that you will have and you'll make down below in the comments to join the giveaway. Another clear pro is just how unique this sketchbook is and how unique accordion sketchbooks are as a whole. They just stand out from other books and they're just a beautiful way to illustrate your art in a different way and have you thinking also in a different way as to how you can lay out your art. When it comes to the cons, I think the biggest con would be like unfamiliarity, just the fact that it's not the usual it's not my usual format it's not one big piece of paper it's not a sketchbook that I can just turn the leaf and start over it is pretty much very much continuous and then also I think if I were to want to do a sketchbook where things don't necessarily run over then perhaps this wouldn't be the best setup for it all these things were things that I was bearing in mind when I was thinking about what I would do in this sketchbook I think it's definitely a sketchbook that I would want there to be some form of a running theme and some artists will see that as a super fun challenge and get pushed outside their comfort zone some artists may feel a bit intimidated by that and actually prefer to just use the standard sketchbook and there's no right or wrong thing but I must say I had a lot of fun using this one and I also felt super inspired to keep going but I'll talk about that a little bit later another couple of things that would be worth mentioning is that the sketchbook 
can be quite difficult to make to lay flat if you're only opening two pages. If you're opening more than that, then it lays flat beautifully. Um, as well as the fact that it can sometimes just take up more retail space on your desk or wherever you're working just by the nature of the fact that it needs to have more than two pages open in order to lay completely flat and the last thing I think is more so that where the pages bend will essentially be exposed so this hasn't happened with this sketchbook but I've seen that others sometimes get like a white line where the paper just keeps getting bent over and over again so that may affect the overall piece in time to come as opposed to straight away. All these things that I've mentioned are kind of relevant for all types of accordion sketchbooks. But when thinking about etch your sketchbooks specifically, I would say that the main con that I had was um, that my cover had a blemish, like a dent on it. And then one of my back pages also had a line that went across that I think came from the ribbon. I got in touch with Etcher and they actually double checked the other sketchbooks to make sure that they weren't damaged as well. I only mentioned it because it's not something that one would be able to watercolor over it. And obviously by the nature of the accordion sketchbook is not like you can cut the page out or stick it together, like it's there forever. <laughs> so I'm just a little bit undecided as to what I'm actually going to do in the back of the sketchbook because I don't think I will be able to do a continuous painting like I'm planning for the front but we'll see I'll figure it out and I'll let you know so it just so happens that I was unlucky in that respect with regards to the etcher pros one thing I must say is that the paper was so nice to work on and I know that I'm using gouache on it but honestly it felt like a dream I didn't I used a lot of water on there and it tolerated I used a lot of layers and it was fine I I'm quite rough with on papers when I'm painting it's just the way that I paint and it handled it beautifully so I'm really curious to see how it will also handle watercolour. I honestly have so many plans for this sketchbook it's unreal. <laughs> um with regards to other pros it's also vegan which is always a plus you know minimizing the impact that we have on the environment is a very important issue so that's always good to see I really liked the like faux leather um soft cover I just feel like it gives it such a nice finished put together classic got your life together kind of look in fact I prefer it a lot more than the cotton um cover that's on the everyday sketchbooks just comes down to personal preference preference if like me you're also quite money minded then this is another pro for you because it's actually quite reasonably priced especially considering the fact that it is a hundred percent cotton watercolor paper so I'll leave a link down below for you so that you can check that out but all in all I'm a fan and I also really like the idea of having this kind of sketchbook for like my next holiday trip just so that I can document it all in one continuous piece of paper so I'm just like I said it's a sketchbook that has inspired a lot of ideas in terms of the artwork that I can actually create. In terms of the brushes, you may know that I tend to like using one brush to do an entire piece. And for this piece, it was the size 12 brush, which I think would be one of my go-to sizes. And the reason that I say that is that it's like a medium-sized brush. So it's big enough that I could cover large areas, but it can also come to a really nice fine point. So I was able to do all the extra little details and the extra little leaves with it as well. And I didn't feel like I needed to switch to a different paint brush. Another observation of the brushes is just that they are slightly, only slightly firmer than watercolour brushes and a lot softer than like acrylic or multi-purpose brushes. But like Goldilocks, it will come down to personal preference as to whether some may feel it's too soft or whether it's the right amount. But one of the clear pros of it was that it was able to hold so much paint and water that it could really go a long way, especially when compared to my other multi-purpose brushes. But honestly, this whole haul has inspired me so much. This is just the first of many paintings in this sketchbook. So initially, when Etcher mentioned this sketchbook, I was a bit apprehensive as to what kind of art I would create in it, what kind of theme should I come up with? And I started completely, completely overthinking it. But then today, the idea just came to me and I realized what I wanted to do in it. And this is just a glimpse at the beginning of it. So yay, I did the first page <laughs> and I painted on 100% cotton paper. A lot of firsts and a lot of achievements in this video. If you would like to see the complete series and you want to have a look at this beautiful, stunning garden, then definitely check out the next video.
If you would like to receive this sketchbook for free, then check out the description with all the information. But remember to comment down below your idea, to follow the link to my mailing list, like this video and subscribe, and then head over to Instagram if you would like some bonus entries. I'll leave all that information down below. And this is open worldwide. Good luck. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to Etcher for their very, very kind and generous gifts. A super special thank you to all my Kofi members for supporting the channel and for making this art journey so fun. I'll see you next week. Bye. Mm. Aha, uh -huh. I think it's, yeah, stuck together. There we go. <laughs> um, we... <laughs> I still, oh gosh. What do you call these? Bristles? Cotton. 300 GSM. Yeah, okay.